Hi guys, my name is Abhi Rajguru and I've recently come back from 12 months spiritual journey around Asia in the search for impact, inner peace and fulfillment. It was an amazing journey and I spent eight months in Buddhist monasteries in Myanmar, a couple of months in an ashram in an India and a couple of months helping the uh, poor people in the slums of India by fundraising and feeding them. And here are my three key insights that I would like to share. One, impact. I always thought that impact was achieved by doing, 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 doing lots, doing for so many hours. But what I found through my journey that highest impact was achieved and sustained by finding a good balance between doing and being, which is meditating for me. And that way I could find that I was in such a beautiful state of presence, the energy of inner peace, that I did not even have to do as much to communicate with people, to inspire them. Sometimes just, you know, me being there was enough. So it's like, you know, the Gandhi approach or the Zen warrior approach. Second, inner peace. It's actually quite a simple two-step process. One, awareness, which you can practice by, say, mindfulness meditation. And two is acceptance. Now, how do we practice acceptance? If we remember this one thing, that we all act based on level of consciousness that we have at this particular point in time, and which also changes all the time. Because whenever I typically judged a situation, me or another person, oh, why did I act that way at that time? Or why did he act that way? But by realizing, hang on, I'm actually judging now from a different level of consciousness. That actually really helps me in, you know, accepting and forgiving. And these two steps I still love practicing and teaching in our mindfulness courses. Three, fulfillment. Let me start with saying this. Fulfillment is either right now or never. You know, the mind tells us once I can achieve X, Y, Z, then I will feel fulfilled. But what I found that even though I got a chance to do some amazing things, you know, helping some um, poor patients in this Buddhist charity hospital in Myanmar, they might be literally dying and, you know, an opportunity to make them smile a little bit or helping some wonderful human beings uh, through meditation teachings and helping them find some inner peace or clarity. And even some poor people in Indian slums that might literally be starving, giving them food. But you know, when I actually did that, then I'm like, hmm, but uh, this is nice, but now I'd like to be <laughs> the next Jay Shetty or next Gandhi. So what I realized that it's really the inner purpose that gives us lasting fulfillment. And for me, it was to realize that deep down inside, all I want is to feel loved, to feel accepted, and to feel complete. Now, if I was to sum it all up, it's 
befriend the mind, meditate so we can find happiness, inner peace and fulfillment right here, right now. Thank you.